Hey guys, Chris here. You join me here in my 2020 Audi e-tron and in today's video, we're gonna find out how quick this car can charge when it is cold outside. So it's the morning now, it's about five degrees Celsius. The car has been parked overnight, it stood still for, I don't know, 16, 17 hours. And also it's about four and a half, five degrees Celsius outside. I've only driven the car for about three kilometers to the daycare center where I've dropped my kid off. And we're gonna to go to the fast charger in Hövig nine and a half kilometers from this point here. So we're gonna see how quick this car can charge or how fast charging speed we can get on a cold battery. So guys, if you're new to the channel, my name is Chris and I do car videos. So please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up. So we're here at the HPC charger here in Hövik. So let's go ahead and see if we can do this again one-handed. So let's get the, I have to open up this flap here, get the HPC contact there. Okay. And then I will get my, my chip, which I have here. And then choose the HPC 150. So this should be without any issues. Let's see if this works flawlessly. Usually it does on this charger. This is a very reliable charger. And yeah, we're at 28% state of charge. So we don't have too much battery left. And let's go ahead and sit inside the car and see what kind of speeds we do get because that is what is interesting with this test. So let's see what we get on the screen here now when the car boots up. Okay, let's turn on the ignition. Okay. Yes, give me a message there that I have only 99 kilometers of range. Okay, there we're getting 77 kilowatts. So not the highest of charging speeds, but this should pick up um, when we get some heat in the battery. As you can see there, it is climbing. Um, but let's just uh, clock this now. So 954, we are getting 79 kilowatts, 37 minutes of charge time left. I'm gonna go in and get something to drink and then I will catch up with you guys in I don't know, about 10 minutes to see what the charging speed is. But 9.54, let's see what the charging speed is, is at 10.04. Okay, 10.04 on the clock, 10 minutes later. So as you guys can see, it seems like we have been getting some heat into the battery because speed has really picked up and just keeps climbing. 113 kilowatts, we've been charging for yeah, well, we've been charging for about 10, 11 minutes now. We're at 49% state of charge. And according to uh, the trip computer here, we will be fully charged in about 30 minutes. We're not gonna go to fully charge. We're just gonna go to 80% and see if we can get anything close to 150 kilowatts. So what is happening now is known as cold gating. And that is when the battery temperature is cold or too cold to receive maximum speed. So when you, you're parked overnight, when you're driving in the cold, uh, you see, see that the temperature has actually picked up a bit now, it's eight degrees. I was initially going to do this test yesterday when it was around zero degrees Celsius. That would be a very interesting test. Um, we're gonna do that at a later point. But as you can see here, in the minute I've been talking now since we started this clip, well, we were up to now 117 kilowatts. So let's give it another 10 minutes. Let's go to 1014 and see what speeds we have then. 
Okay guys, it's only been eight minutes, but we just peaked at 139 and then it seems there is some throttling now because we've dropped now to 132. But still guys, we're getting above 130, almost 140, eight degrees Celsius outside from a cold battery. That is quite impressive. I wasn't expecting us to get 150 or even 140, but yeah, this is really impressive. And the reason I wanted to stop now is because, yeah, before, or film now before another 10 minutes is because when we hit about 78, 79%, it starts throttling. We only get maximum speed to sometimes to 78%, sometimes almost to 80%. It depends on, the, it seems to be the mood of the car or the outside temperature. But yeah, um, nine minutes uh, since we last uh, checked up for an update and we're at 134 kilowatts. And that is quite impressive, guys, from a cold battery. As you can see here, guys, we're getting 139, almost 140 kilowatts from the charger here. And if we check the car, we're only getting about 137 and that is because I have the uh, the heater on here so the parking climate the parking heater uh, I have that on so it's get, it's pulling some juice from the charger here this is a 150 kilowatt charger so in theory uh, with the heater on we wouldn't get 150 maybe we'd get like 147 148 but some of these 150 kilowatt chargers have been able to give just above 150 so you can get 150 uh, and they're delivering like 152 153 but guys yeah speed has picked up again and let's just watch this for a few seconds because we're at 77 percent 130 140 peaking at 140 this is impressive guys so just parked here for yeah how long have we parked here 21 22 minutes um, we're almost at 80 percent and that is the beauty of this car is that, yeah, it will cold gate in the beginning when the battery is cold, but we quickly get heat into the battery. As you can see there, 141 kilowatts, basically full speed, guys. We're within a few percent of full speed. So 78%, it will start throttling now. 79%, yeah, as you can see there, now it will stop dropping. 134 133 and then when we hit 80 yeah it will just keep dropping now until we get to 100 percent but yeah it won't go below 50 maybe 45 at 99 percent but yeah impressive charging speeds as you can see there 80 percent 126 so we basically have full charging speed up to around 79 80 percent as i said now we didn't start throttling before we were at 79 percent sometimes it's at 78 percent and sometimes it's at 80%. So 80% start throttling now. It will r maintain the speed above 100 up to maybe about 85 and just drop off, uh, keep dropping off until we hit 100% state of charge. Okay, so there we go, guys. I'm not going to charge much more. We're at 85%, still getting 94 kilowatts of charging speed. This was to show you guys how sensitive or non-sensitive this Audi e-tron is to charging when it is cold because I've talked so much about this car having a flat charging curve, getting maximum speed from about 0% state of charge and not being too sensitive to the cold. And I am really impressed by this car. Um, I wanted to do this test yesterday, as I said, when it was a bit colder, so maybe that will yield different results, but still five degrees Celsius when we started off, it's about eight degrees Celsius now, it's not too warm outside. I mean, still cold temperatures, but I wanted to give you guys a real world example of how this car is to charge when it's cold outside, when the car has just been sitting and to show you guys if it will pick up speed, if it will cold gate. And yeah, it started off cold gating, but once we get heat into the battery, the speed just keeps climbing and climbing and climbing. So I want to do this video again when it is cold outside, even colder, like zero degrees and minus degrees. So if you'd like to see that, uh, type of video please comment in the comment section down below so guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please drop me a thumbs up down below and for more car content as always guys please subscribe see you guys later and goodbye